Some change um, people aren't adjusted to it, and some change people have to adjust to it. Uh, for Larmer, change after 50 years of not being invested in this neighborhood, it had to have changed. It had to go from blight, vacant lots, to new housing, greening, and new businesses. Larmer is a beautiful community. It's a nice, small, knit community with good people that care about one another. When you wake up in the morning, there's always something going on negative on Larmer. They don't show the positive of the things that's going on on Larmer. Instead of showing so much negative, they should uh, focus on the positive like the water in the area. Also, uh, Larmer is adapting because it's utilizing its vacant space by turning it into gardens flower gardens and also uh, making it a very pleasant and kind place for senior citizens as well as young people. Yes, the community is really improving. It's getting larger, more diverse. Uh, the people get more educated and uh, drugs and crime are getting less. Community is improving and it's in that adapting to society. Larmer uh, has uh, Google in it, and so Google sitting in Larmer allows technology, uh, advanced technology, to come to Larmer. Some change um, people aren't adjusted to it, and some change people have to adjust to it. Uh, for Larmer, change. After 50 years of not being invested in this neighborhood, it had to have changed. It had to go from blight, vacant lots, to new housing, greening, and new businesses. And I believe it's starting to adapt well. Uh, when we first started, people didn't see buildings, so once people started to see the buildings, they said, okay, this is real. So what we are doing here is we have the church roof where the rainwater comes down into downspouts and those downspouts go into the city's combined sewer system and there are a lot of problems with overflows in that storm sewer system so whenever we get a significant rain both rainwater and sewer water combined are overflowing into our rivers. So we're trying to keep as much of that rainwater out of the city sewer system as possible. And one way to do that is to disconnect our downspouts so that the water flows right here onto the site. And so we're building these rain gardens that will soak up the water and also beautify the sites while we're at it. You can see we're planting some lovely flowers here today as well. So um, this is just one example of uh, you know, helping our uh, combined sewer overflow problem. And you know, hopefully when people see how easy it is to do a project like this, um, this also installing rain barrels at your house is something else um, that can be done. So all of these things really start to add up and can create quite a big impact for the flooding issues that we have in the city, as well as um, you know, sending bad water <laughs> into our rivers, keeping our rivers clean. There's so much change happening and yet there's people who've been here for 60, 70, 90 years. And it's kind of interesting to hear their experiences of life here. What is my creative inspiration? We're standing in it right now, the hot burning sun and the clouds. No, largely uh, nature, like inspired by nature and human beings' relationship to the natural world. Yeah, that's kind of the biggest one.